Hi, my name is Rachel, the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. Welcome back to my channel. I am a reader and an author, and today I am doing my April TBR a little bit late. So today is the 7th of April, and I have already finished Paranasi by Susanna Clark, and I have DNF'd another book, but I'm gonna make you wait on what that book is until next month when I do my April wrap up. I don't have anything like particularly set of what I want to read this month, so I thought I would just go over what I have out from the library currently. Except for the first book I'm going to start with is something I own and I've been working on for a while and I know you've seen it before, but you're going to get to see it again. And that is The Fires of Heaven by Robert Jordan. So this book has been hard for me to get into. And if you can see some tabs here, I'm not annotating. So I've taken inspiration from two other booktubers, um, Haley over Haley at Bookland, and recently did a hundred pages a day challenge, which I would love to replicate. I'll probably do it sometime this summer after I graduate. And then Gia wrote Book Roast as she is doing her TBR. She's been um, putting markers in for like how many day, how many pages a day she needs to read. And since this is a book that's been giving me some trouble, I decided to do that. And I went through and I did the math of how many pages I need to read a day if I'm gonna finish it by the end of April. And that's what those are for, <laughs> to kind of help me kind of keep the tally. And it also feels less overwhelming. So if I'm not, enjoying the scenes that I'm reading, it's okay. Once I hit that marker, I'm going to stop. You know, if I want to read more, I can. Or, and then I'm actually finding it's helping since I am still in somewhat of a reading slump. So now on to the books that I have out from the library. So one I have is Engaging the Enemy by Elizabeth Moon. And this is following Kaivata. This is actually book three in the Vata War series where Kai is trying to figure out how to be the captain that she wants to be. In the first book, she was attending the Space Force Academy and was kicked out. That was the inciting incident for getting her into space on a trader ship. And then things have just rolled down the long or rolled forward. It's fun watching to see her have her confidence as she makes decisions and to see how like people react in especially when she's like, this is a sensible decision. Why are you coming up with this paranoia, paranoid like conclusion of what I am doing? And the interaction between places. Um, this is definitely a space opera. You get to go, you're, you're going to different planets, different stations, and I'm having a lot of fun reading it. So another book that I have out from the library is Jade City. This is one that I had picked up and started reading earlier. And then I'm also decided to do the tabs because I have a couple books that are due at the same, or due back at the library at the same time. And I want to actually get to read them. And if I'm not loving one, then again, it just helps me to read it. For Jade City, I've heard of many reviews about it and it is and isn't what I've heard. Um, a lot of people have talked so much about Shay, but for the Part, the section that I've read so far, she's not been in it or a big force, uh, at least so far. I, I would say that my favorite character right now is Lan, who is the pillar, but I am curious to see how I progress this month and how much I'm going to enjoy it. And so for these next two books, they are, well actually they're novellas. I got them from the library because they were on the, or they were nominated for the Nebula this year, and I was curious. And both were already on my to-read list. This, just because I'm curious what is going to win, I like to read through the nominations, and so that is why I got them from the library. I don't know much about them otherwise, though. Um, the first is The Four Weaves by B.B. Lumberg. And then the second one is Riot Baby by Tochi Onyabuchi. And I probably butchered that. I am very white. And even when I try to speak Spanish, I sound like I'm an American. <laughs> so then the next book I have from out from the library is actually a nonfiction. And it was something that 
I saw recommended on the PBS NewsHour. I like them because they're, I think, better about being nonpartisan. I mean, you can still see how the anchors feel, but you can also see they actually try to talk to people from over all over the political spectrum. And due to COVID, this book sounded interesting. And that is Fevers, Feuds, and Diamonds, Ebola and the Ravages of History. And I just barely started it. I read nonfiction slower than I read fiction. So this is probably another one that I'm going to use the tab method to help me continue at a good pace, if, especially if I want to finish it in a month. Otherwise, it's going to take me a while because this is a chunker. And then so far, what I have read from it, I've just started the intro. It seems to be um, more focused on how to care for someone with Ebola without getting sick, which is one reason I can see how it would be applicable during a pandemic. So for this next book, I just recently got it back from the library. I have pre I had previously started it and then had to return it before I finished it. And that's just because I jump around when I read. I'm a mood reader. And that book is Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorse. And this is her fantasy. I think that was something that one reason why it was taking me a little bit longer is because this picture and the synopsis, for some reason, I read as science fiction, not fantasy. And so it, it took me a little bit. I could see the the way the description was, it sounded like there would be some things that were on planet and then some things up space because they were talking about ships. And then I started reading, I'm like, oh no, they mean water ships, like a boat. Okay. And I really like Rebecca Rowan Horse's writing. I am having a little bit of issue with this book though because I like one part of the story better than the other. I also would like Rebecca Rowanhorst to write more sci-fi, or to write sci-fi. I think the other book that I have, um, that I've seen from her has been like urban paranormal fantasy. I think that she would be really good at sci-fi. I do want to finish it and find out how, like, I want to find out what happens to the storyline that I am enjoying. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm a mood reader. I jump around between books that I have. The next two books that I'm going to show you, I have started, and I'm in, I'm in the process of reading. Um, as I read things from the library, I'll pick it up, be like, oh, this is the next thing that's due. And then if I don't finish it by that due date, if I can renew it, then I just put it back down and pick up the next thing. If I have to, you know, if I can't renew it, then I, that's when it goes onto my currently reading list on Goodreads and it goes back to the library. But, so these are two books that I have started. And that is Come Tumbling Down by Sean McGuire. This is where Jack comes back and enlists a group of students to go on a quest, which is not supposed to be allowed. And I am enjoying this so far. Um, I, I really do like Jack as a character. I enjoyed in book two. I, I like Sean McGuire. I like, I like some of Sean McGuire's books, um, but I do like this series. I have noticed with some of the books in this series, she will tell more than she shows, and then the other ones she shows, or you get more of a flow to them. And this one so far has that flow, so I'm really enjoying it. Then the other book that I have started is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I believe that this is something that went around book two back when it came out, and people liked it a lot. So, but I didn't know what it really was about. So I picked it up and I'm enjoying it so far. I'm still a little confused, but it, it's keeping me intrigued. So I am excited to keep reading this. And then another book that I picked up from the library is book one in the series. And it caught my eye because book two came out this year. Uh, or yeah, I think book, yeah, I think book two came out in January. But I, you have to read the first book to read the second book. So I got We Hunt the Flame. I don't know anything about this, but this I like the cover a lot, and the vibe is telling me fantasy. And then the last book that I got out from a library is a continuation of the Expanse series. 
um, I read Leviathan Wakes in December, and so now have gotten out Caliban's War, and I'm interested to continue reading. I have no expectations of what's going to happen in this book. I just hope I still like it. So that is everything that I have out from the library in the month of April so far. I have other things that I'm waiting on coming out, but we will have to see when that happens. And you'll have to come back to my April wrap up to find out what I managed to read. If you have read any of these books and are really wanting me to hurry up and finish them so then I can talk to you about them, please let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, let me know what you're planning to read for April so I can add more books to my want to read list. Thank you and have a good day.